Either way, we're going to start the video. Um, shit. Oh, you can't cuss within the first minute. Fuck shit ass. Oh no, I made a mistake. Uh, we were talking about the Nintendo Direct, the surprise Nintendo Direct that Nintendo, I don't know, um, dropped on us the other day. And the amount of pissy ass pussy babies who were angry that Nintendo didn't come to their house and swallow their cummies. All their cummies. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yes. Oh, uh, hello. So, the last couple of videos were <coughs> definitely. were definitely not in 1080p. And I am. I am just. I'm, I'm doing some. Uh, some experimental shit right now by uh, deciding to use the not HD60. Hold on, give me a second. I want to know what this is even called. What is this? What is this one called? Not Game Capture HD is just called Game Capture HD. All right. Okay. But yeah, we uh, like if you're upset for whatever reason, that Nintendo didn't give you what you feel you wanted in the direct. They didn't owe you anything. It's like at all. Metroid fans in the Nintendo Direct. Yes, no. okay. Well, Metroid fans didn't get anything. Okay. What's your point? Metroid fans, like, the idea of, like, well, they didn't give us any updates for this game. Yeah, it's because there are no fucking updates to give you, bitch. See, here's the thing I'd like to remind people. We're in the middle of a pandemic. People, yeah. Things you know, are happening, yeah. people aren't exactly able to work the way they normally are. <laughs> that being said, I am looking forward to playing Skyward Sword again. I've never played it, like, ever. So, like, this, you know, might be the time I play it. I will <laughs> say, I will say, if people come out and complain about this game after saying, well, the game's great, but, like, the motion control is awful. Look, mm. they took them out. They Deal did. with it. Like, you have no excuse now. Like, at this point, you have to just accept that you're a giant, a giant a wavering cunt. That's all it is. You're just an angry cunt. Just accept it. Just look at yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I'm a garbage cunt person and I don't deserve nice things in life because I'm always going to complain about the things that I've been given for fucking free. But yeah, um, uh, fucking Nintendo Direct, when it comes to any video game company, they don't owe you shit. At all. Like, you might think they do because you're quote unquote a loyal fan, but that means. Yeah, because here's the thing. Fuck off. That direct started off with something I was like, I don't give a fuck about this. But I still say it's a good direct because there were things in it that I liked. I like the, the Mario items coming, the Animal Crossing. I like that Skyward Sword is coming out on a system that's more accessible. I like all these things. Well, then again, like, what, what, uh, somebody said, like, what was it? Like, there is no excuse to not play Skyward Sword or, um, what was it? Was a Twilight Princess at this point? Because you can buy a Wii U for, like, $30 because no one mm. fucking wants them. So if you really, really wanted to play those games, you could have already played those sorts of games. But this is the HD version, and it's a little bit more designed to be played with the controller, which in and of itself is good. Alright, hold on. Yeah. Taking a drink. But that ain't what we're talking about this whole episode. We're talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. The name of the movie is Sonic the Hedgehog. It will always be the known movie. as the, no, it's no, it's, it's called Sonic the Hedgehog. Is it? Yeah, it's just Sonic the Hedgehog. I swear. Yeah, you you swear fucking wrong. The name of the movie is simply Sonic the Hedgehog. But it will always be known as the Sonic movie. It just will. Sonic the Hedgehog is a mouthful. 
That's the reason Sonic 06 is called Sonic 06. Not even Sonic on Xbox 360. But Sonic 360, Sonic 06. Um, uh, I told Mark already that like I had one beat with the entire film. And I feel like he should be able to like guess what it is. But he hasn't seen it in over a year. So I don't necessarily know if he'll know what it is. I do have an opinion on the film, and my opinion will probably make somebody upset because the fact that, you know, I, I breathe oxygen probably makes somebody, make some people angry. But if you, if you could, I, I, if, of everybody here, I knew you real was going to be the only somebody who felt like he had to speak. He didn't. Um, uh, and that's why I Yeah. Burn. Anyway, uh, like, what do you remember from the movie, Mark? I remember the baby Sonic. I remember him being on a planet. I remember him saying he had to leave. Mm -hmm. I remember him being on Earth. I was like, you don't I remember, remember him saying that he had to go to. The one thing I haven't. I've heard a lot of things about this movie. But here's what I didn't hear I never heard anybody mention Knuckles. Oh, yeah, and Knuckles. But nothing about the echidnas. The entire. The echidnas are in the movie. Like, they just simply are. <laughs> Like in the very beginning of the movie, they're there. Um, uh, no one mentioned Tails. Like, Tails was at the end of the movie, right? Yeah, he was, but he was in uh, the movie. Yeah. And like the fact that no one felt like the need to bring him up is weird to me. Like, he was, um, I mean, I was excited for that. But I wasn't gonna like spoil that for you. I did. I already well, I found out that there was gonna be a sequel with Tails. In the you know in it already, so it, I didn't really care. The fact that you know I really I don't care about Tails as a character. I'm all about Knuckles. Knuckles Miles Prower is my favorite character. So um, mine by far is uh, Knuckle and Rouge. Knuckles and Rouge. Rouge just has huge tits. That's kind of the only reason I like Rouge. <laughs> my least favorite character is Big the Cat. One Everyone's favorite least favorite character is Big the Cat. No, some people genuinely hate Charmy. Hmm. That's fair. But, okay, so Mark's not gonna remember this. I promise you, you won't. There's a character in this movie that I would just wish that wasn't in the movie. There are parts of this movie I can't, like, destroy easily without even thinking about it. Um, the humans in this movie didn't need to be there. Also, I thought y'all were dead. Tell you one thing. They ain't brothers. Mr. Mom, Um, I will say I enjoyed every moment that Jim Carrey was on screen because he was just having a good time. I I felt there was a little bit more going on than need be because at the very when he first shows up, like it seems like he's definitely um. Hold on. It seems like he was really like jumping back and forth between genuinely sinister and like I really don't like you and just goofy funny and I would say like there are parts of the movie that he was being Jim Carrey and it kind of didn't fit that's um, <clears throat> and here's the reason because mind you like when I say like I was enjoying him yeah it was just because he was Jim Carrey like having yeah. fun not because he was being a good egg man how about a round of that was a big separate I was just enjoying watching a man have fun. Um, he, yeah, it was a, he was a, an interesting character, but I would not say he was a good Eggman. Um, but then again, the Eggman we know is a bumbling buffoon. The fact that uh, Jim Carrey is he also Eggman doesn't was, actually become Eggman. Until the end yeah. Of the movie. Well, even then, he's not Eggman yet. Yeah. Because, you know, he didn't get spliced with that fucking, you know, bo like hard boiled egg in the fridge. Regardless of what anybody says, that's canon. Um, yeah, Eggman doesn't make anything useful. So the fact that Jim Carrey's Eggman was actually a competent scientist made him a bad Eggman. Regardless of what you may think. 
Like, in, no matter how bad you want to suck Eggman's cock, he's a dumb scientist. He uses small animals to power his creatures, his robot creations. He does see that. <clears throat> But I'm gonna get the self free, man. Um, there was a character in the movie, the uh, the, the the wife. They don't really go out of their way to like let you know that's his wife at first. They really, really don't. Like I didn't like. I just thought they were like fucking around. I found it. I found out it was. I thought, I thought it was a little weird that there was the need for a relationship arc at all. Like that was part of the movie. I thought. They could have just not had in there the fact that like that bootleg uh, James Franco <coughs> had to have a girlfriend or a wife, and the fact that the thing I would call that he the, had to be there's black a thing that, was so weird. There's a thing that's in movies like for kids, and I use that quotation for kids. No, 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 no. When, this movie was for children. Like there was nothing. I mean, this, this movie was for ch children. That's one of my bigger issues, and like the reason for that. <clears throat> Like, hold that thought and remember what it is because I'm going to go on a tangent. This movie was not for adults. The majority... <clears throat> fuck, sorry. The majority of Sonic the Hedgehog's fan base is well over 35. We technically are, like, in that, like, era where, like, Sonic was, like, starting to get popular. But, like, people, a, like, a little bit older than us would have been the only people who played it and were good at it. Because Sonic, you know, the idea of playing even Mario Bros, like, at age five, is difficult. That fucking game's hard. Like, we played Mario World, and it's harder than you remember it being. Um, so yeah, the, the, like, it's in, their fan base is, like, well in their 30s, and this movie was for children. Like, this movie was for, like, I forget who said it, but there was a YouTuber, like, years ago who was, like, how is how is Sonic still popular? Because the majority of people who would even remember him being good, like you know, back when his games were good, are all adults now, and probably have moved on to different games. And that's all I can like. In, that that's not inaccurate. Like that's not at all inaccurate. Sonic's best game, better games were behind him a long time ago until Sonic Mania came out. And like, what was that one? Sonic uh, Generations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't until then that Sonic had a good new game. But yeah, that, like <coughs> nothing about the movie like even tr like gets anywhere close to, um, I would say like edgy or extreme or just it, it's the most bland, non-offensive thing you could take your kids to see ever. Like, there's really not, there's very few swear words. I'm not saying I needed to hear Sonic drop the end bomb or anything like that, but it's It would have made it far more interesting, though. At the very least, if Sonic had just suddenly said, Monica, it'd have been like, oh, okay. He's blue, so am I offended? What's I'm, what's that? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, he is voiced by a white dude, but there's that. Um, and yeah, I'm still boot, upset that Jaleel White was not. Sorry. Yeah, the fact that Jaleel White, and I feel like he would have done a better job. I feel like the voice actor was Sonic, I won't say he phoned it in, but he wasn't interesting. Like it, he was a safe choice. He was trying to be very snarky and sarcastic. You know, off the no, 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 no. That's the writing. Like he didn't make up the script. Like that's the writer's job. He didn't make up the script. You don't feel like he was delivering his lines that way. That's how they were. Written. I mean, again, you, it's fresher in your mind, so I mean, I don't know. It's, that's how. It, well, I mean, in any movie, people have a tendency to be like, "Well, this character is trying to be like this," and I think the, this actor shouldn't have done it that way. They didn't write the script. <laughs> he also didn't get the. He didn't give the direction. Like, there's a person there that tells the actors how they're supposed to do things. Like, if they're doing things wrong. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Like he was following. He was doing what he was told to do. And I would also like to point out that. His name is nowhere on the promotional art. The guy who voices Sonic 
his name is not on like any of the posters. Like even if you go to Hulu, his name isn't on like the uh, the about page as far as like you know, like oh this movie is starring this person and this person. Not a dude who was uh, it's Ben Schwartz. For anybody who doesn't know, it's Ben Schwartz. That's who plays the voice of Sonic. And it's not he's not bad. It's just that again they just went with the most non-offensive thing they could with Sonic because that in their opinion was a good idea I really want to leave this area and I can't believe there's not at least if I can take the, the, the ninja out are you still on your tangent or uh, I'm I'm trying to not have to uh, here we go I just didn't want to air up your attention. No, you're, 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 I, no, this is, this is, you're making me, don't, don't make me think, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay. Guys, come the fuck on. You can't be serious. What am I doing wrong here? Am I doing anything wrong? Because I'm getting new enemies each time, so. Oh, give me a, gotta, gotta get you. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, mm. Uh, mm. But no, it's a it's an unoffensive movie. And the, the voice actor didn't really make Sonic feel anything. And I feel like it was... Like, Sonic was written to be this incredibly scatterbrained, just too much at once kind of a character. And it almost kind of got annoying. Because, like, here's the, th here's the thing about talking a lot. You rarely ever say a lot that's interesting. People who, like, talk a bunch. You know what I mean? It's like the reason that kids get annoying when they won't shut up. Because they're not saying anything that you want to hear. And they couldn't write enough for Sonic to speak that was something you needed to hear. Like, he wasn't able to drop jokes every 10 seconds. So it would have been more useful for him to just kind of been a little bit more laid back and been cool. Rather than just like frantic and you know whatever the fuck. Like I like this movie isn't perfect, but it's so non-offensive that it's easy to be like, you know, it's just a movie. Like yeah, it's literally just a film that you can watch with your eyeballs. So by all means, like I'm not saying if you like it, like you're a pleb. But you know, if you do like it, then good for you. You found a movie you like. Like you're not, you're not. This movie didn't win any like awards or anything, did it? Like, did it do well? <laughs> like, as far as like, actually, because it was one of the only movies that came out. So, so that's what I'm thinking. In like, theaters, like, like, I'm thinking like as far as movies that like people who rate movies had you know the ability to praise or not. Oh, that's your roommate. I thought that was coming from Mark's house. And I was so confused. I was like, what is that white girl doing now? So these are the Critics' Choice Awards. Oh my god. And it didn't win a lot. Um, it didn't win a lot. It only won one. It got nominated for a lot. Huh? It won Best Villain for Jim Carrey. It got nominated for Best Superhero Movie. It got nominated for Best Actor in a super Superhero Movie. 
Who was the dude that that Sonic that Sonic was piling around with? Like, what's his name? Like, who is that actor? Uh, I'm on the IMD page, so I'm look. Because I, because uh, I'm gonna keep referring to him as Bootleg James Franco, because that's what he looks like. His name is James something. Is it just? James oh my Franco? God! It's Cyclops. Oh wow! So he can do better. Okay, cool. Got you. It's fucking Cyclops. James Paul Mar Marston. Marsden. Okay. Like again, I like I'm not an actor, but I do play one on TV. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, his his character was his character did his job. Like he was gonna be the straight man to Sonic Fool, and like that works out. Um, I still think his relationship with the black chick was weird. Um, I was about to say something really stupid, but it makes sense. I think that movies need to accept that there is racism in the world we live in, meaning. To make to like cast a an interracial couple in a film, and it just be like <clears throat> you know normalized in a small podunk town, is breaking the immersion. Because I feel like just it wouldn't have flown quite so well in like the real world. Not to say that it's bad, like normalized, like you know that kind of stuff. Which is, you know, it's good. It's gonna make you angry. Like, I'm not gonna take my girl to see that movie with the with the blue rat in it. <coughs> that, 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 blue rat. You know, that that pure white man is dating a negress. And that just ain't American. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Alright, moving on. Oh um, <laughs> but but I did have a thing to say about the whole like him having a relationship at all in the Talk movie. To me. Talk to me. Kids movies. Why? Specifically. Yeah, why? Why does it need that? So when you drag your little gremlin to see these movies, hey, just because you don't like these people. <laughs> look, I'm just telling you how the the people who make these movies look at it. They think. You're gonna be sitting through this movie and you're gonna be like, oh god, I gotta watch this fucking rat for six hours. I mean, that's how it feels to the people who just genuinely have no soul. I'm about to say, um, why the fuck do you take your kids to see a movie you don't want to see? That's just so weird. But that's that's how people feel about it, is that like you're taking your kid to see this movie that you don't want to see and you have no interest in. So they put in a character that you... And I... I, I use that very sparingly. You can relate with and you would have more investment in so you like have this b-plot oh that's about a normal God. person oh who's like gosh. they have a relationship and everything you can care about while why is that even like, why is this an option come on yeah but yeah bring your ass yeah i mean that's how like things used to be with like the spongebob movie and stuff oh my god <clears throat> Oh, but it's God. literally just made to be a distraction for the adults. Well, the thing is, like in movies, like like the SpongeBob movie, or in SpongeBob, or in like old cartoons in general, or in some cartoons, like they had, they would just write better. And that's the one thing I always bitch about when it comes to like things that are, like media made for children is people choose not to do better because quote unquote it's for kids. It's like yeah, but kids one aren't going to be the only ones watching them. And two, just because they're children, it doesn't mean they're stupid. I mean, they're dumb, yeah, but they're not, you know, completely brain dead. They understand, like, subtleties and stuff like that. So, it's weird. I can't get over there, but I was able to almost get knocked off the fucking stage. Avro Samurai for Smash. <coughs> You know, I was even yeah, more happy about that than the character we did get. There's another story character who would be like, NO! He's like, yeah, but he's the only person that can go against Sephiroth and actually kill him. Like, 
<laughs> Is that true, by the way? Is Sephiroth actually that OP? No, I don't know. He plays through the uh, design logic. <laughs> I don't play Smash Online. I refuse. It's dumb. <clears throat> like, and I feel bad for anybody who feels like they play it online. Like, I, I just won't. I play in the computer and that's it. Like, I only, I just test myself to see if there's, if there's, like, anything specifically, any, like, character matchups I can't handle. That's about it. But, I play Smash. Like, it's not that good. Uh, I don't know if there's any like, way y'all want me to cook. Like, if there's any way you want me to cook. Ah, damn. Here's the deal. The character doesn't have... Like, there's no lock on. Are you fucking serious? What am I doing wrong here? <clears throat> A lot, I think. Oh. <clears throat> Do me a favor. No. A Afro but Samurai, yes. the empty, the empty seven story, part two. Just look up like if there's anything specific I'm supposed to do to complete this. Because if there is, I am not doing it. Because I don't know what it is. Because I wouldn't listen to the cutscene. Get my ego wrapped around. But so far, we've discussed that Sonic is just really unoffensive, and his um, voice actor, they didn't feel it was necessary to, e to e even let the world know who he is. a little fucking rat. The uh, only part that actually offended me was the fact that he did the floss on the... Twice, mind you. <laughs> Um, the issue I had, because I'm just gonna get to it, was the, uh, the, the white sister was a character I felt shouldn't have been in the film. One, she was a negative stereotype of black <coughs> black women and fat people. Like, she was just this angry, she was just a mad black woman. Oh, yeah, the, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, she was just a, well, my teeth, I don't know Um... <laughs> You knew what I said. I know, I do. No, I do. I just don't want you to do it again. Like, I don't want you to find reason to do that character. <laughs> no, like, everything about her. Like, she came off as the... Hey, she came off as the bitter... Levers okay, never mind. We got it. Pull, so, pull it. No, I, it was literally just don't get killed. So, all right. But she came off as this very angry, cynical the new character. I was and I didn't understand why. Like the fact that she was like just this, the empty seven like this overweight female to this um, to the main, to the wife, we you know, very attractive. But <laughs> it's kind of funny. That dude was like a bootleg. <coughs> Um, James Franco, Let us not and she was a bootleg uh, Gabrielle Union. His passing shall secure our place in heaven. One thousand years of harmony. His selfless act, his sacrifice, is the key <coughs> How you to doing? a heaven we shall all enjoy as God. Who, me? Yeah. Wait. What is this? What happened? Nothing. What was wrong with That's it? it. No. Oh, are you I done just, talking no, about I just the movie? Stopped, no, no, I just stopped talking for a second. That was yeah. It. Okay. I was, I was asking how you were doing. Because I was trying to figure out what it is I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm, I'm just watching YouTube videos. That's cool. Sometimes that's how you gotta do it. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Which is part of the course. Um, <laughs> sometimes it really is. Like, sometimes it really is. So, like, I don't. I 
like you're looking at this the, the, the same way I am. If you are looking at this like, well, duh, just do this. You're a fucking liar. Um, it's not that obvious. Like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have these three. Okay, this is where you can go back to that that thing again. There's these three levers, and I'm supposed to do a thing, and I don't know what the thing is with these three levers. <clears throat> do I need to look this up? Yeah, because I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. Because I, mean, I stopped looking when you said that you were fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, yeah, I figured out that that was... Repeat the process twice, the sniper will get smarter and start firing bursts of some multiple bullets. Boss battle ends. Unfortunately, you're not done with the stage. A short cutscene, blah, blah, blah. All you need to now is survive everything until it goes dark. Well, you've done that. Yeah, I'm pulling lever. So scan around for pulling lever. <clears throat> the fuck am I doing? Right, I'm just, I'm gonna stop running around so he can get it out. And then I'm gonna look it up. Too. You just keep talking about uh, Sonic. Somebody's clearly stuck as well. Um, this is live, y'all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna edit any of this stuff. I don't, mostly because I don't want to. Um, yeah. Pull one lever, then climb up, beat the boss. Oh, hold on, hold on. Then hold on, yeah, for the you, other two. You went too far. Is that what's going on? Okay. I think I know I think I know what's going on. At no point did it like make it seem like that's what I was supposed to be doing. Got it, yep. Because normally in a good game what'll happen is like if you press a button it'll be like, oh okay, you need to do this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Despite him saying that, it's not okay. No, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm saying okay. As in, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to notice. Is that that thing just out. Well, I'm going to keep eating this belt. I, uh, I, 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 I see what y'all want me to do. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know that was a thing he could do. I didn't know he could do that. When did he look? When did Afro get that ability? Okay. When you learn the power of friendship. Oh. Well, the dude killed his uh, his master. Uh. Oh, yeah. In the heart of the cards. No. It was. It was, it was in his, the heart of the blood that he expelled from his master's throat. Um, yeah, that was kind of like the only real beef I had the last couple minutes of this would just be us talking because you saw how this went. Um, that was kind of it. That was the only thing about the movie that I was like, it was, it wasn't cringy or anything. 
but it was definitely for little children. It didn't feel like anything about it had any true sustenance. It doesn't seem, that doesn't really feel like there's a need to be any kind, the only reason there would be a sequel is because Robotnik, did, Robotnik didn't die. And that's just kind of how Sonic works. He never killed Hey, Robotnik. why'd you spoil it like that? Shut up. Like, it, that's been spoiled several times in this conversation. Mark, Mark was the first person to say it. How <laughs> But you know how closely I was listening. Yeah, and that's why I told you that. This is going to for nothing. Um, it's just a movie. I'm so sick of your freaking, your, your freaking white rage. Like, absolutely bullcrap. Wow, racist on top of everything else. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't get, I didn't. Ridiculous. I get why the movie was made, but I don't get why the movie was made the way it was. <clears throat> Because again, the majority of the people who would say they like Sonic are all over the age of 16 at the very least. We well, said it was made for the kids, so it's well, that's clearly the thing, to introduce though. a new audience. Yeah, but it, uh, that ain't how. Yeah, but Sonic's a fucking video game, and the video games are all like G-rated games. Like, there's no violence or bad language in any of the games. So, like, this movie like would be closely like parallel to like Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu is an all-around better movie than this one. Like as I far fell as asleep during that. that's cool. That's not really that's not crazy, but all right. Like Whatever. Detective Pikachu's visuals and Sonic's visuals are fucking beautiful. Like Sonic's visuals are are like amazing. They really, really are. They're just really fucking good. But that's kind of where it stops. Everything else is like middle of the road at best. Detective Pikachu, like Ryan Reynolds, I guess is a better actor than the other guy because he gives Pikachu's character life and he's not just like some you know talking rat because <laughs> Pikachu's actually a rat um is he? he's a mouse you don't see mouse. it and you never will <laughs> because because Game Freak's idea of what a mouse <clears throat> is makes you wonder what, where the fuck they've been living um and that's just wait like that's it like i'm an adult that's the that's the problem i'm an adult like if you look at the power ranger movie and you look at the tmnt movie the first one both of those movies were made for pre were made for teenagers and preteens because dulcia has to definitely make some boys uncomfortable and some girls uncomfortable dulcia in in the power ranger movie was awkward was super awkward and fucking kimberly and her <coughs> And her Daisy Dudes. I'm just saying, there was some spice in that movie. And the Ninja Turtles movie, like, it almost, like, went directly for a teenage audience. Like, it didn't go for the children. But keep in mind, like, that, those movies, was made, movies were made in the 90s. And the 90s were, like, the Wild West, you know. You could damn near put porn on TV back in the 90s. Um, and sometimes, and sometimes they did. Uh... In my opinion, when you make a different property, which I believe a movie is a different property than a cartoon. You mean a different medium? I mean, no, I meant what I said. <clears throat> because the entire point is to expand your demographic at that point. Yeah, you can make, use a different media. Or medium. Like, but it's fucking Sonic, though. And also, the fucking, like... They took shots at Mario. They did. Because, like, the place that he was going to run to after Earth was a place filled with mushrooms. And he hated the mushroom place. Which is like, ha, 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 ha. Them motherfuckers have hung out, like, a hundred times at this point. Like, you you late. <laughs> it's like, well, no, that's not what we were joking. Really? Of all the things, you chose mushrooms. Of all the things, mushrooms. Okay. Like, it was clearly a, a, a Mario Nintendo reference. And again, like, Sonic and Mario are just, they're friends at this point. Um, <clears throat> it, if you know who Sonic is, the idea that you're going to play, like, watch this movie, like, it's, it's either you will or you won't. If you watch that movie and you like Sonic, the odds of you picking up a Sonic video game if you don't play video games is unlikely. 
Cause I like don't well, I like two D platformers. I don't like Sonic games. The only again, Sonic, here's the thing: I like Sonic cartoons and the comics. I don't like the games that much. The, the games aren't really fun. <laughs> there are people who have like a lot of good memories of the games, but the games aren't really fun because the concept of like, well, Sonic goes really, really fast. Sonic goes really fast on a two D plane. Any platforms? What part of platforming and going fast makes any sense? It doesn't. Like, the only Sonic game where him going fast was mildly interesting was Sonic Unleashed on 360. That was it. Because, like, there was, like, it felt like you were on, like, this Hot Wheels track and you had to get into your flow state. Like, that shit was fun. Like, the demo I have on the 360, I played that bitch, like, a hundred times because that part in itself was just fun. Uh, Unleashed on the Wii is a, uh fucking nightmare uh, so yeah but you're not gonna go play sonic after <laughs> watching that movie and i feel like even if like i feel like if you went and watched a sonic anime because i'm calling them anime after you watch that movie you might be you might be like why didn't they just do this <laughs> instead because honestly they're written better yes a hundred times better like even the shitty old like you know 90s cartoon they were still way more fun than that movie was. That movie felt like it wasn't bad. I'm not saying the movie was bad. I'm just saying the movie was so middle of the road. It doesn't really justify its existence. Because usually those things are considered to be like basically commercials for what you're trying to sell. Right. And the thing. And at this point, like the thing you're trying to sell isn't anything sold. like this thing you presented. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sonic 06 is kind of like this because he does try to get it on with that uh, that human girl. Also, at what point is that how rings work? In the original games, if you got through those stage fast enough, you did get warped somewhere but by means, a giant ring. But the regular rings didn't work that way. Yeah, by all means, like the rings, like in some of the games, like that's the end goal. Like the end of the game is like his, you know, is a giant ring. Um, just again, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's weird. <clears throat> like the movie was again for the umpteenth time, just very middle of the road. The relationship the aspect didn't need to be in it at all. It was completely pointless because like his relationship with uh with the human was like the only real relationship that needed to be in there. The sister in law could have been shot. Or like the sister in law was almost exclusively there just for the kid. And if that was the case, why didn't y'all just give them a child? That, like, the kid was what gave Sonic his shoes. If I'm almost, if I'm not mistaken, I think she gave him house shoes. Like, I don't think those were tennis shoes. Because they looked really soft. No, those were specifically made for the movie. Those were sushi. Those were the commercial part. Like, you could actually buy those shoes. Yeah, uh, yeah that doesn't mean they're, like, wearable shoes. Like, shoes, yeah. But they look yeah. like house shoes. They don't look like tennis shoes by far. Like, because they're fuzzy on top. And, like, the sock is clearly built into the shoe. So, like, that's got to be a house shoe. And if it's not a house shoe, y'all are dumb. Like, no one's wearing that out. Like, it's you fucking got a point at the end of it. And, like, in the movie, you made it look fuzzy. Also, Sonic just has gloves his entire life. Yep. I don't care about that. Like, and like his gloves are really fuzzy. Like the fucking like texturing and like the way Sonic is like designed is fucking magnificent. It's really pretty, really really pretty. I'm still but, trying to remember. Like I really want to see like an uncut version with the other model. The other Sonic. The other Sonic. Yeah. I really feel like if you bought like the Blu-ray, like there should be like original version, not original version, because they had to have. Cause they finished that movie because yeah. parts of like the promotional art when it came out were parts of the end of the movie that movie was done yep so they could literally well this is the theatrical release this is the they didn't like it <laughs> um uh but on a scale of one to ten i give it a five out of ten it got like a 6.5 for me ah that's Terrible. I expected you to at least say seven and a half. 
No, it, it's it's a like enjoyable movie. Like it's something it's, yeah, it's very, your brain off and enjoy. Yeah, I, I could watch it again totally with a kid. If the kid was like, "Yeah, I want to watch the Sunny Lewis," like, "Fuck yeah, I watch Sunny Lewis." But like, it's not like something I'd say like, "Oh my god, they put this on Hulu! I gotta yeah, watch this yeah, now." Yeah, yeah. I did when I realized it was on Hulu. Like today, I was like, "I'm gonna have to watch this." <laughs> like, I had to see. I got to see if this is as dope as it as it seems like it was supposed to be. I will say that like I am with Morty on this. The idea of doing like, I bet you're wondering how I got here. Well, let's go all the way back. Let's just start the fucking movie where it starts. Like, because I really wanted more of a where the hell did Sonic come from? And I didn't get it. And they really, this is something that this movie and uh, the Marvel Universe does. And it's annoying. Quicksilver and Sonic the Hedgehog, their speed is inconsistent. Sometimes mm-hmm. they both can move so fast, time slows down. And like, it's not like when they come out of it, they're any like more exhausted or anything like that. No. It's just like, it's supposed to be for laughs that like, oh, you're moving so fast that yeah. everything around you setting still. Yeah, but I'm not, and I'm not supposed to think about it, but I can't help but think about it. And also there's a scene in the movie where Sonic goes to retrieve his ring and he says that he can't go up there because he needs a pass to get on the elevator. And I was like, why didn't he just run up the side of the building? Like, dude, you literally, earlier in the movie, you were running across the ceiling. Like, there's several points in this movie where you're running upside down. Why didn't you just run up the building? Like, you literally only ran up there, so, like, part of the movie later on, so, like, you see what I'm, like, that's what I mean by the writing of the movie is so, like, middle of the road. Like, it's <clears throat> it's not even close to, like, well thought out. It's just like, yeah, this will, this, this will do. Mm, yeah, it's quite, mm, mm, mm. We're gonna go. Um, I'm trying to really think if there is a reason, because I don't think there is. Because what was the entire point that, like, why he couldn't just run to get his rings? It's because he, he, like, where it was. shot. Oh, okay. I well, thought he got shot. No, he did. He got shot in the leg with a tranquilizer gun. Yeah. And then, like... I guess it's been a year. Which it doesn't... Which it, okay, and then... Uh, mm, fuck. He gets shot and he tells the dude, like, I can't run. Like, I can't walk because you make my you make my legs feel like spaghetti. I'm paraphrasing. And, like, they go to the window and they see, the like, Robotnik, like, pulling up. And he's like, I need you to help me hide. And then he, like falls because he can't walk and I'm like you just got up on the thing you literally just walk why are you suddenly unable to walk why are you unable to can like he couldn't walk and like the fact that he was able to just like take off in a direction and hit the ocean as he put it crash into the ocean and then run back fast enough to keep a fish on his head like the idea that like I can't go here like I can't because I don't know how to get there okay fine but the idea that like he can't run there doesn't make any sense like he can because he can run there. somewhere he can run to a library get an atlas figure he out where it is he can run so fast he can slow down time again there's a lot of inconsistencies that we're not supposed to think about because again it is a child child you dread this movie yeah and kids are dumb so you know who gives a fuck <clears throat> I watched it again. So this is the second fucking video that we've done. This is this, this is Edward Scissorhands Part Two. Lovely. Uh, you're real supposed to find some riddles to ask us, and I did. I honestly thought Mark hated riddles. I knew you, bro. No, hate I don't riddles. Know. I, I knew you, bro. Your bro hates riddles and puns. He will punch you over a pun. He's punched me over a pun. A lot of riddles are puns, Peter. And that's why he hates <laughs> But I do hope to get some some good ones. But yeah, that's it. Like if you were if you if you saw this and you were like, oh, I wanna hear what you think about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and you were like, Yeah, I hope he likes it because I like it and that'll make me feel good about my decisions, like fuck off. Like you don't need me to justify your decisions in anything, honestly. I mean we do like it. Just not as much of you. I didn't hate it. I ain't gonna say I liked it. I didn't hate it. I, like I still it. like to take the Pikachu more. 
I'm hoping that the the, the sequel like, takes a few more, gets a little bit more risky. Like I really do, and I really kind of hope that they like lean more into the video game than just making up stuff. Because again, like the idea that Sonic like, because he's like in the well movie, again, it seems like they're bringing at least tails into the mix which would make what else video could there game. be knuckles is already there and who the fuck is that owl i don't remember that from the cartoons so like i don't know okay. all right well that's it for now until next time y'all stay black you got here peace